Yo, it's good YouTube, it's boy Jacob, and I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how Southside makes some hard beats for Nardo Wick from scratch in FL Studio. Let's get right into it. <laughs> First, I'll start with the sound out of Xenology, and this is the pattern that I laid down with it. All it is is these two chords right here, repeating, and then I added these lower notes, and then I added these top notes up here. And so how I got these notes was I literally just went in the scale, and I wanted large gaps in between the notes. So as you can see, I could have went like this. I didn't think it sounded as good, so I just went straight to the C. And then I went up to the D after that, because that's a very nice note in the scale. And then I just repeated this over, and instead of having this D note here, I just brought it down to the C. Right, so it's pretty simple. And my main goal with this was just to make a super simple pattern, and then turn it into an audio clip, and then flip it from there. All right, so what I did after that was I could saw it into a track. I pitched it down by two semitones and reversed it, and this is what it sounded like. And then after that, I put it in the first mixture track, added an EQ, a portal, and this portal bank is fragments right here, and this is the preset I used. And then after that, I added this EQ to cut out this harsh frequency, because without it, it sounded like this. And then with it, it sounded like this. So it was just a little harsh frequencies that I didn't want to be in the loop, so I EQ'd it out. And then after that, I consolidated it again, and I got this track right here. Then after that, the only other thing I did was added RC20. This is a vinyl three preset. I, and all I did was turn the noise off and turn the space up a little bit. And then I consolidated it again. And this is what it sounds like by itself. And then after that, I just wanted to add a bass so I could get the, the general vibe going. This is what it sounds like. This is the Mike Dean bass right here. And it just has an envelope on it. So then after that, I messed around with a bell. And this right here is just a regular bell sound. And all it does is just play the same notes that I had in the original melody. And this is just to almost add like a transition into it. And this is what it sounds like by itself. Right, so it's nothing too crazy, but it does add just a little bit to this loop. And then after that, I added this accent right here. This is what it sounds like. So this accent is from Prod VM, and the only thing I did was I reversed it, pitched it down to semitones so that it'd be in the same key, and then I put it in track number seven, turned the separation all the way up. So right here, this is merged, so this is right in the middle, and then whenever you separate it, it's all the way on the outsides. Then after that, I added reverb. This is what I use right here. And then after that, I added RC20 one more time, and I took away the noise and took the space all the way down. So this is what it sounds like before. And this is what it sounded like after. So as you can hear, this is a totally different vibe. And all I did was chop up the first little part and repeat it over. Then after that, I added another accent. So it sounds like. I felt like it fit the vibe perfectly with the glockenspiel right here. Right, I felt like that was in the same type of vibe. So all I did with this was I pitched it down a full octave first off right here, and then I pitched it down another two semitones, and this is what it sounded like at first. But I felt like that, that really overlapped with a lot of the sounds I had so far. Right, so what I wanted to do was then pitch it down an octave. So then I could take some things out when it came to the hook, and you could hear it then pretty clearly. And that's just a little accent, you don't hear it too much. But after that, the last thing I did was I added this violin right here. Once again from Provium, that's what it sounds like. And so as you can see right here, this is a full audio clip. And I actually only ended up taking the first half of it. And then I just copied it over. 
and this right here is pitched up a full octave and so this would it sound like with the beat if it was not pitched up and so i thought about doing that but when i pitched up a full octave i thought it fit perfectly and then i put it in track number six and added just a little pan man and all this does is pans it around your ears and I did it just a little bit. Like as you can see right here, it doesn't do it too much. And you can see the presets that I used right there on it. And then finally I added file a vintage verb and you can see what I did on this as well. All the low cut all the way up, decay four, mix 33.6. And then that was pretty much it for this beat. There's not a lot of sounds in it, but every sound has its own little pocket and it's simple, but it sounds really good. So now we're gonna go to the drums. All right, so we got the loop loaded up here in a new project. Now I'm gonna lay some drums on it. All right, so now that I got my sounds in here, I'm gonna lay down the pattern. First thing I'm gonna do is my hi-hat pattern. So for this, I'm actually gonna use a MIDI and it was just in my file somewhere. So I don't know if I made it or who it was from, but it's here. So I'm just gonna use it. And how I would make this pattern right here is just put it in four steps and just start chopping up a little bit right here. So you can see this is just chopped like this. And it's the same rolls right here as well. And it's right here as well. So you can see it's nothing too crazy actually. It's it's just the same type of pattern copied over and over. And the only other things that I did was I added these little ones down here at the bottom. And you can just see these are scattered all over the place, but they added a little bit of bounce in here. All right, so now for the clap. And it's just, just a Nardo Week clap from Max Shooter. And I just want this clap to be slapping in the ears, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm just gonna add it in right here. And it's just a regular clap, it's on the two and the four, it's nothing special at all. Then after that, I'm gonna add this 808. And this is my favorite 808, I use it pretty much every video. And I try to go search for different 808s, but it's really just a spins 808 with a kick on it. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it, I guess. All right, so this pattern right here started off with this little two-step right here. And this is just the same type of pattern that I usually use, which is just a three-peat right here. And it's just, it's classic in these type of beats. And, but the only thing I did from that was I pitched it up one octave for the first note and then everything else down. All right, and you can see right here, I left a lot of room for the artist to rap. And then on the second half of this pattern, yeah, you see right here, it's just a spacey first note. There's nothing, it's nothing too crazy on the first note. I just left it running for a while. And then after that, I added all these back to back to back. And you can see them right here. And usually the pattern goes like this for a lot of beats. But I wanted to switch it up, so I shifted it over one from that. So it wasn't right here, it was right here. And I felt like that added just a little bit different bounce to it and it kind of separated itself from other beats. And then after that, I pitched this last note up. And then I really did do the three peat right here without pitching anything up. And I just, you can see I literally just copied these over and pitched this down. And then at the end, it's, it's the same thing except I just pitched this up to F sharp and then this last note down. So as you can hear, the pattern isn't too crazy. It doesn't do way too much. It still leaves room for the artist on it, but it also isn't too you know, bland and basic for me. So it adds still a little bit of sauce on there. After that, it's the easy part. It's just adding open eye hats on the 808, as well as adding a snare and a little bit of accents if you want to do that. And now I'm gonna add these open hi-hats. You can hear what it sounds like with them. I'm 
add the snare. And then finally, I'm as well accent in here. So I'm gonna go through and tell you what I did with these open eye ads. It's literally on pretty much every one of these 808s except a couple of them. And it's almost like you would layer a kick with it. And then after that, I added this snare. As you can see, it's a really simple snare pattern until the end, which there's a little snare roll at the end. And you can hear it right here. It's literally nothing crazy at all. It just fills in little gaps that I felt needed to be filled in. And then after that, I added this little snare roll at the end. So as you can see, it's literally just this basic pattern right here. That's pretty much what it is except just pitching down each one and then add this little snare roll right here which is in one fourth step it's just three notes right there and then you can see down here with the velocities i just did that with them which that is all just right clicking and dragging the mouse down and then added this one down here at the end and then this little sound right here it's a little triangle and this just added on one of the 808s it is the last one out of the repeat and the volume is just down a little bit so you don't really hear it too much but it is a little ear candy and just some little extra in there and that's pretty much it all right thank you for watching this video to the end if you've not already go ahead and drop subscribe like follow me on instagram and comment down below what you want to see next if you want this flp go to the patreon down below in the description as well as join the discord send me some loops i go through them all and so next time peace